Hey guys, what's going on? Ben here. And uh, I wanted to show you guys this uh, this 3D top-down tower defense game I made. Uh, I made this when uh, I was 20 and uh, I was in school. So this is my side project um, when I was at school at the time. And uh, this project is really, really, really cool. It, uh, as you can see, it's full 3D, really gorgeous graphics, um, some really awesome shader work, like on the planets back there. Um, you can see it's got some bloom effects going on with the uh, with the sparkles and um, some really cool models with some really cool textures and I did all of this um, and uh, so this game um, it uh, it's a tower defense game and so I'm gonna start by uh, placing my very first two turrets and uh, then I select the uh, the other five turrets that are going to be part of my arsenal. And I'm just going to select the, the top basic five. You can see there are a lot of other turrets as part of this game. Each of these cells represents a different turret. You select five of them to add to your arsenal. Um, and uh, so now that I selected the fifth, the game, here we go. And so what's going to happen is uh, the game is played in waves, just like most tower defense games. And uh, here comes the very first wave. And so for this very first wave, the wave is really weak, so I'm going to destroy it really easily. Um, and uh, you can see there's some really cool particle effects going on in this game. There's some really cool explosions, um, some really cool lights. And uh, my goal here is to guard these planet rings. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and make my very first turret here. I'm going to place it right there. And so you can see, like, unlike most tower defense games, you, well, um, yeah, unlike a lot of them, you, uh, you have a player character that you also control, and I'm using the Xbox controller here to move him around and uh, aim with him. And, uh, this player has a, has a basic primary weapon that he can use um, to uh, blow up these enemies. See, I'm placing these, uh, they're like... Um, that lightning towers and they're destroying the enemies that are trying to attack them. So what the enemies do is the enemies have this um, this really cool pathfinding system that allows them to pathfind from wherever they start, which is out here in the edge of the map, towards uh, towards the planet rings which you're trying to defend. And um, whenever they encounter a threat nearby, they'll uh, they'll stop and they'll attack it instead. I currently don't have enough money for any threats. No, that's not true. I got enough money. For them. Place that one. So my turrets are starting to go down. This wave is a lot nastier. I think I'm going to use... I'm going to plan to use... I'm going to die here in a sec. Nope. Good. So you get a certain number of uh, small rockets as part of this game. And you get a few... You'll get like one every other wave or something. And uh, the small rockets destroy a large number of enemies in a small radius. So that's what I use there. One other thing you can do is you can go, I can hold X near a turret and uh, upgrade it. So these lightning turrets, they can look really overpowered and, uh, and cheap, but they're not. They uh, they fire less quickly the more, uh, the more times they shoot, the more their rate of fire decreases. This game has a, a really cool level editor to it. And the level editor um, allows me to configure all the different objects, these rings, these uh, planetoids, um, these barriers, in whatever configuration I want. And the level editor is uh, it's two-dimensional, but allows me to um, do all that. It allows me to do custom camera animations. Um, the level editor allows me to uh, set up the models for the game ahead of time, to have particle effects to them, um, and all this really cool stuff. You can see all these enemies are turning green, which means they're moving faster. If they move through this green zone, they, uh, they speed up. Uh -oh. Ah, that'll be good. Uh, looks like that went really well. I'm gonna place another planet. And, uh... So depending on um, what kind of enemies are coming, I'll, uh, I'll place different kinds of turrets. Like, blue enemies are counted by blue turrets, 
Um, red enemies countered by red turrets, and so on and so forth. These little red guys, they, uh, they actually, um, whenever they die, they, uh, they explode in a little, um, ring of bullets that you can have. Yeah. Oh, I just died. Uh, looks like I'm gonna need to use rockets here. I'm gonna, this blue field makes everyone invulnerable to damage, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna use the, uh, I used my super rocket there, and the super rocket destroys everything. So I'm gonna build, got some red guys coming in, I'm gonna build some red turrets. Alright, here we go. These guys have a lot of range and a lot of damage, so they're gonna be a really nasty fight. Oh shit. This planet ring is almost dead. It's it's about to get destroyed. Let's see how I'm gonna just be, I'm gonna pretty much plan to die. I don't want to waste any resources on it since it's pretty much doomed. This one, on the other hand, I don't want to let this one go. I'm use a rocket on it. Get that there. Shit. No, I didn't want that to die. I definitely don't want this to die. This should be fun. I've got the support of my my home base turrets over to the left. All right. My mistake there was I think I should have upgraded my turrets a little bit more. Each turret has a single upgrade that you can apply. Um, I'm definitely going to use it. And then I think it's worth it to not get. One really cool thing about this game is because of the way the pathfinding and the rendering and uh, all that, all the particles and stuff, all of it's actually um, written in a fairly optimized way. So this game can support a lot um, without uh, without slowing down. If you guys do see a little bit of lag in this recording, it's um, because the, the recording software is uh, causing it to lag. Um, the actual game itself hardly lags at all. Oh shit! So many enemies. All right, I'm gonna wait for them to group up a little bit more, and then I'm gonna use my rockets. I got that one. Yeah, I should just let this die. Ah. Uh, so you can see that um, as the game goes on, the waves um, pretty quickly get very difficult. And uh, that makes it, it... The ultimate goal is that the game it's impossible to defend infinitely. You're, uh, you're never going to defend against all the waves. I'm gonna make a medic turret about all these turrets. Whenever you make a medic turret, it um, the medic turret is destroyed, but uh, it resurrects all the other turrets nearby. So that's what's going on here. Also, whenever you oh shit, look at all those enemies. Oh my god, and they do so much damage. I'm dead. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try and use my rockets really strategically here. Destroy that group. I'm gonna try and rocket this big group here. You can shoot through walls in this game, although enemies don't target other enemy things of yours through walls unless uh, unless you give them an opportunity to. All right, so my defenses are real solid here. I've got my home, my very first planet ring turrets. These guys are nasty, but uh, I should be good. Enemies that turn red or inside this red ring do more damage. So uh, various enemies. And see, he just actually turned invisible there. You'll see that enemy right there, and then he um, became visible again, and we were able to shoot him. But uh, enemies that are invisible like that um, can't actually take any damage, but they move slower. And uh, the invisibility only lasts so long, and each enemy can only use it once. When you destroy enough of the percentage of the wave, the wave is just gone, and it's over. Right. Got this. And all my turrets should come back up for this wave. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to upgrade. I can't. I don't know. Oh my god. Rocket, rocket, rocket. So many enemies. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, guys. This may be it. This may be the end of the line for me. I have no more rockets. No more nothing. It's all come down to this. 
Now, luckily, these, these are red enemies, and your home base turrets are red turrets. So you'll see the uh, the enemies are getting stunned. They're actually standing still and uh, getting frozen by these turrets. They're taking... Otherwise, this would be way more difficult. You also notice that these enemies, they shoot out purple projectiles when they die. And uh, so if I get hit by those, I take a small amount of damage. <laughs> more than a little bit. I'm almost dead here. But uh, it looks like I survived the wave just fine. I wonder what happened to all the other enemies. Looks like they're fighting my turrets over to the right there. I pushed that guy's good. Nice. That's kind of pretty. Okay, I'm really lucky. This is another red wave. And uh, the red waves, I'm in really good shape because... Uh, another rocket here. There we go. I think I'm dead here. These uh, these white ones have so much shields. They're so hard to take down. The big white ones here. The ones that uh, the, the ones that look like crystals. Well, maybe not. These guys are um, are they're getting shredded by uh, by my home turrets. You can see my home ring starting to take some damage. Well, uh, but I should be fine. God, am I going to survive this wave? Wave 12. What happened over here? Oh, I see there's some enemies. This is a pretty small group. I should be fine. Okay. <laughs> Rip. So if you die, you go back to your nearest planet ring in this game, and you're out for like a short time. So death is uh, death for your playership, and you can still place turrets. So death for your playership is uh, is um, it's not very a big, it's not a very big penalty. Okay, so I'm in big trouble here. I have no green turrets, and um, I think what I'll do is look like an. Well then. Guess I'm dead. <laughs> There's sort of like an emergency turret that you can place. Um, and if I can make it through this round, I could use that next round. I think I'm probably dead, though. I did not mean to dash up. Yeah, see? That. <laughs> I'm dead again. It's the uh, the guys with the big lasers. They're just so strong. Yeah, this is going to be the end of my turret. I have no rockets, no nothing. No, uh, no special weaponry. Oh my god, look at all these enemies. They yeah, just die. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, that's it. <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna pause the, uh, the game here, but, uh, thanks so much for, um, uh, checking out my game, and uh, when the uh, when when my base is destroyed, the uh, the game's over. But uh, I made it through a large number of rounds, and um, I'm uh, I'm really glad that I got to show that off. Um, so yeah, like I said, I did all the sound design, all the textures, all the lighting, all the uh, all the models for it. I wrote all the entire rendering system. It uses um, instance rendering on the graphics card to draw a whole bunch of the same thing. Uh, if you're interested in what that is, you can you know Google more about it. It's a really cool technique. Um, it uh, uses uh, instancing and uh, for the particles as well, so it draws a lot of the same thing. Um, and uh, let's see what else to say about it. It uh, let's see. I talked about the pathfinding, which is really cool. The uh, the lighting, the models, all the uh, oh yeah. There's also um, although I'm not going to show it off in this video. There is an AI opponent that uh, allows you to, um, you can play against the AI, and he also builds a base, and you see who can live longer. And that was a really fun project, too, because I had to program the AI to make intelligent choices about where to put turrets, and uh, that was a really cool thing to do, because the AI would break the world up into a grid and then look at which point on the grid was most advantageous to put a turret. And uh, I actually got it so where the AI was making some pretty intelligent choices. About, uh, where to put the turrets. Maybe maybe I'll demo that in another video. This game also supports split screen, and uh, so you can play against um, other players. I think up to four, four players split screen, and uh, so you can see who can. Everyone takes turns um, fighting off waves, and then you see who lives the longest. 
Um, and uh, yeah, uh, feel free to um, check it out more on my website. I've got pictures, a lot of the art I put up on the website, a lot of the concept renders for the various units and how everything looks. I also have more talk of there about the level editor and the rendering systems that I wrote in the game. Um, a lot of really cool stuff under that went into this. So thanks so much for checking it out. I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.